Guys, if you want to mute your microphones for a moment, if you haven't. Right, I can confirm that we're live, but due to the team's lag, I'd give it maybe 20 seconds before we properly start. But yeah, I've okay. done everything from my side, so cheers. Cheers, Aaron. Liam, um, thank you. Good morning, members, officers, and any members of the public who are viewing the live stream of this meeting. Welcome to the meeting of the Grants Advisory Committee today, 27th of November, at just after 10. Uh, my name is Councillor Joseph Hales, and I am the chair of the Grants Advisory Committee. For the information of members of the public, the role of our committee is to consider and make recommendations to the lead cabinet member for finance, that's Councillor John Williams, and you'll see him on the screen on the applications made under the council's grant schemes. Councillor Williams then makes his decision, taking into account our recommendations. Members, please can you uh, remember to mute your microphones unless you are called upon to speak. You will need to then unmute your microphones in order to speak. Uh, so agenda item number one, um, this is apologies. Um, uh, Aaron, may I ask if there's been any apologies, please? And could you do the roll call? Of course, Chair, thank you. Good morning. Um, we have received apologies from councillors Claire Delderfield and Peter McDonald for the meeting today. Um, members, uh, well, for, for Peter McDonald, we have Councillor Martin Khan, who is substituting in his place today. Um, I will, members, I'll read out your name. Uh, please, if you could confirm that you're present, remembering to unmute your microphones before you speak. Uh, Councillor Daunton, please. Um, yes, I'm here. Thank you. Councillor Ellington. Yes, I'm here. And Councillor Khan, please. We can't hear you, Martin. Um, well, maybe we might have lost uh, Councillor Khan. Um, he may be able to join us shortly, but we are still quiet anyway. Um, we also obviously have yourself uh, as the chair of the committee, Councillor Hales, and we also have various members of the Climate and Environment Committee with us today to lend their expertise uh, on the zero carbon applications. Uh, would you like me to do a roll call of those uh, climate members that are present, Chair? Yes, please, be very grateful. Of course, uh, Councillor Chamberlain, please. Present, sorry. Uh, Councillor Harvey, please. Yes, present. And um, I don't think any other members of the Climate Committee are present today. Apologies if I have missed you out, but we also have <laughs> Councillor Cathcart present today as the local member for Battingbourne and Councillor Bill Handley as the lead member for Environment. And if, 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 if I may, Chair, just um, pass on Councillor Halings. Um, uh, extreme regret that she can't be here today obviously um it's very important um for her but she got a last minute um call to uh, a meeting uh, with her um her own work if you like so um unfortunately can't be here but she has passed on some of her comments to me which i can relay during the course of the meeting thank you very much councillor harvey okay um, we now do de uh, declarations of interest, please. Agenda item number two, Councillor Ellington. Um, there is an application from Swavesea Community Orchard, which my grandson has uh, put in a quote to do the work, but he has been told that he is unlikely to get it because his quote was too high. OK, so I, I see it as a non non pecuniary interest. OK, well, um, well, sorry, uh, Aaron, Aaron, so just with uh, Councillor Ellington's um, declaration there, we will leave that to you to give us the advice at that point, if that's OK, yeah? Councillor Daunton. Yeah, sorry, um, Chair. Um, do we need to declare where we are the ward councillors for um, some of the applications coming up? Um, Aaron, I don't think so. Not as a, uh, it's no. only if you're involved in it. That's correct, Chair. Yeah. 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 If, you're if, if you're fiscally involved in it or part of a, a, a group that makes that decision, then yes. Okay. No. 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 Okay. Okay. No. Fine. Could, could, could I just declare? I know um, I'm not 
actually voting, but uh, have become quite involved in the Great Abington scheme that came from last year's um, uh, contest. So um, I, I think I will kind of step out of the discussion on that. OK, thank you. Jeff. Right. Um, minutes of the last meeting. Are we, ha are we happy to approve the minutes of the last meeting, please, uh, Crimes Committee? I'm looking at the heads. They're all nodding. Yeah. That's fine. Uh, Aaron, could you take that as a, a, a general consensus that, that they're OK? Thank you very yeah. much. Right, uh, members and members of the public, um, I'm going to have to read out a fairly lengthy statement here. Um, if you'll just bear with me, please. I'm going to have to read it verbatim. As the next item of business contains confidential information, I'm going to read out the following statement. The law allows councils to consider a limited range of issues in the private session without members of the press and public being present. Typically, such issues relate to personal details, financial and business affairs, legal privilege and so on. In every case, the public interest is excluding the press and public from the meeting room must outweigh the public interest in having the information disclosed to them. The following statement will be proposed, seconded and voted upon. I propose that the press and public be excluded from the meeting during the consideration of the following item numbers. Number 11 and 12 in accordance with section 100 brackets A brackets 4 of the Local Government Act 1972 on the grounds that, if present, there would be a disclosure to exempt to them of exempt information as defined in paragraph 3 of part 1 of schedule 12A of the Act as amended. Paragraph 3 relates to information relating to the financial or business affairs of any particular person, including the authority holding that information. If exempt confidential information has been provided as part of the agenda, the press and public will not be able to view it. There will be an explanation on the website, however, as to why the information was exempt. Members, do you agree with the public interest in maintaining the exemption outweighs the public interest in the disclosure of this information? And if so, I would like to move that as a proposal. May I have a seconder and then a show of hands, please, from the Grants Committee? So, uh, could, uh, could you put Sue as second in, please, Aaron? And you're, you're OK with that? Thank you very much. Uh, I'll take that as uh, affirmative, Aaron. Thank you. In that case, Liam, would you kindly end the live feed, please? Yeah, sure. <clears throat> this is ended for good today, yeah? Yes, okay. thank you. Yeah, cheers. <laughs>